Seriously, dude. Dude. I mean, God. I got a cat sneeze. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Erickson Presents Mixing Tutorials. Before you get started, can you please hit the like button? If you don't like the video, you can unremove the like button. So start the like button. It's like hit it and then watch it. And if you're like, man, I don't like it, take the like button back. If that's what you want to do. Um, before we get started, I want to introduce you guys to a new member of the channel. Um, I guess he would technically be um, the manager. Uh, this little guy. I, I found him and um, he was in a, a stolen vehicle, uh, one of my stolen vehicles uh, at my job. And uh, when I when the police called me and the vehicle came, well, they found the vehicle. They told me, they asked me if I can come pick it up. I said, okay, but he was in there. And they said that where they were waiting for um, animal control to come. And I was like, oh, what are they going to do with them? They're like, oh, well, they're most likely going to put them down. So I couldn't, I couldn't allow that to happen. He's a cool cat. Um, he likes to come in here. He likes to sit on my lap. He likes to play with the, the, the screen um, as I'm doing things. He's tapping at it so i mean technically i guess he's, he's helping me mix so um his name is uh sebastian so that's my daughter my daughter named sebastian so that's his name i don't know if we're gonna keep him as so far so far he he might end up staying i don't know but anyhow um i just did this tutorial i spent 30 minutes on the tutorial and i realized that i didn't even record the audio on the computer so we're just gonna have to do this again um which sucks because you you would have seen how I organically came to the decisions that I made. Um, and you know what? Let's just repeat that. Um, I'm not going to take this away from y'all. I'm going to make sure. All right, let's uh, mute all this. But anyhow, um, this is about um, the Abbey Rhodes studio three emulating plugin from waves now i hear a lot of people online bashing this thing and i don't understand why like what what are they hearing that i'm not hearing because i'm not bashing it and um i'm gonna just stop talking and just play it so let's let's just get this show on the road um that's not what i wanted to do oh yeah i gotta mute that I can't believe this is the second time that I'm doing this. So, all right. Um, let's see. It sucks. Cause I already knew I had it up for what was it? Four point three. So, whatever. Sorry, y'all. So yeah, I guess I made this decision when I heard it. I felt like, oh yeah, because I was comparing it. Now I remember what I was doing. I was comparing it to. And when I was listening to the kick, I felt that the kick was a little too bassy. Um, so um, that's why I did that. Other than that, let's just let's just work. I like I like listening to the tone in the far speakers mainly because they reveal frequencies better for some reason, but they do. When it's something I don't like, I hear it better in the far speakers. Um, so I check on those a lot more than I do on the near ones. Yeah, that clap was a little too bright. That's why I did that. Let's keep moving. We got the. So the bass is obviously too loud. Can you hear him purring? <laughs> he said he'll sit here the whole entire time I'm mixing too. Like he ain't gonna move. Sometimes he'll car try to crawl up on my shoulder. All 
Alright, let's try it. Seriously, dude? Dude. I mean, I got a cat sneeze. Ugh. I should wipe it on you, but I'm not gonna do that. I ain't got nothing in here to wipe it with. Dang. Ugh. He's just gonna wipe it on my shorts. Oh, man. And I had something. Dang. Ugh. Really? All right, man. Go on back there. Do your thing. All right, so let's get back to it. That's just can't can't make that one up. Oh, I'm playing with the chords. Now you trying to clean it? Yeah, look at it. Well, I do like the fact that cats will clean themselves. And coming out the gate, they they know how to poop and cover it up themselves. Like that's that's amazing. It's a little loud. It's a little loud. All right, we can go back to the near ones. Like what I notice is when something's not right, it hurts my head when I hear it. Like it's just it's not uh, it's not pleasing. All right, let's uh, go down to the hats. I think these are already leveled where I have them. Um, what did I do with this one? I think yeah. So a lot of this stuff, a lot of my mixing lately. Using this this uh, plugin, I'm taking off a lot of high end um, like this. Like I usually didn't do that before, and maybe that was a problem. Um, but my mixes are translating a lot wider. They're clearer. Everything has its own space. Um, yeah, notice like that's a little too bright for me. Like listening through this, so on. I took the brightness away. It just felt better. Like it didn't feel like my, it was just like, like it just felt like it's out of place. But uh, yeah, take it off the high end. I, I mean, I just heard it. I heard it better in there. What is this? Same thing. Just took off a little bit of that high end. The snap. Hey, when I when I A and B that it almost felt like it was the same beat. Uh, y'all know y'all heard it. I, it wasn't just me. It couldn't have been just me. All right. So um, another thing that I'm I'm learning about this plugin is, which is I would I would love to go and literally take my uh, my Mac my MacBook and go p sit in this studio, plug in and. I don't know whose dog that is. I would love to go plug into their actual studio and mix in that room. I would probably sound like Dr. Dre because using this plugin, I'm already in the ballpark. So I can only imagine what it would be like if I was in the actual room. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. All right, um, hold on, we want to do this. All right, hopefully that fixed my problem. And it did not, fuck. All right, man, should we, yeah, this, man, I don't know, like maybe, Maybe I shouldn't be doing this video, man. 
I'm getting a lot of pushback trying to make this thing work. All right, so uh, let's just keep going. Uh, what uh, one of the other things that I, my bad. One of the other things that I learned about this plugin is it's a lot easier to balance things and make sure things um, are just sitting where they need to be. All right, so um, hopefully with this short video, <laughs> this I, I gotta cut it short. The whole system's tripping, but um, hopefully you guys get the idea of um, how you can use this plugin to your advantage. Um, I can honestly say that when I uh, started mixing in this, um, I was actually taking it to the car and I was blown away. Um, I was blown away by um, the results that I was getting, how accurate it was. Um, and I, like I said, I find myself turning things down more than up, um, when I use this, which is, uh, it really makes me want to go and plug into that room, man. I wonder what that would cost. Anybody know what that would cost per hour? I mean, I could rent it out for a day. I can probably mix my whole entire project in there and what you want to, you want to make an appearance or something? What you trying to do? You chilling? You good? Okay, I guess he, I guess he could. Uh, but anyhow, um, thank you for watching. Um, please leave a comment on your thoughts about the plugin. Have you used it? Do you think that this is bull crap? Um, let's turn the plugin off one more time. So. Um okay, so as of right now, I don't even hear anything, um, but I'm assuming that it's still recording for you. I got this. I got this. I got, I, I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, hopefully you understand um, the gist of the plugin. <laughs> Anyhow, I will catch y'all in the next one. Like I said, please don't forget to leave that like, thumbs up, and a comment, and I'll highlight y'all. Yeah, home tomorrow. tomorrow. You know you got me. <laughs> Girl, tomorrow. I like the way that you move. Shake your body, girl I got a whole lot of plans for you